Go. Hello everyone. This is Anurag Mishra. Myself Naman. And my name is Deepak Kumar. This video is regarding our work in Project Development Laboratory, which is study on engineered cementious concrete or commonly known as bendable concrete. As we all know that concrete is strong in compression, but it doesn't possess high flexibility. Traditional or conventional concrete can reach up to only 0.3 to 0.5 percent strain before failure. But with the use of polyvinyl alcohol fibers and other cementitious materials, uh, the, it can even achieve up to strain of 4 to 5 percent before failure. Hence, it enhances and increases the ductility and elasticity properties of concrete. So we aim to design and develop the ECC or bendable concrete and compare its reserves and properties with the conventional. The materials used were as follows, cement, sand, water, super plasticizer which is CK plus 3069, polyvinyl alcohol fiber, commonly known as PVA fiber. Cube and slab specimens with appropriate dimensions were selected for testing. Then we proceeded for mixed design calculation as per IS 456-2000. The design calculations finalized are as shown ahead. Cement is to sand ratio was taken as 1 is to 2 initially and water to cement ratio was taken as 0 0.35. Sand was sieved using IS 4.75 mm sieve, then all the materials were weighed and gathered. Initially, sand and cement were mixed uniformly. Then, PVA fiber and cluster were separated by hand for thoroughly mixing with cement and sand. Finally, water and super plasticizer as per calculation were added to achieve the DR mix. We also found flash mixer suitable for mixing as no coarse aggregate was involved in design. The prepared mix was filled in respective molds along with proper tamping. To maintain the uniformity of the mix and the removal of air words, the table vibration method was used. On the subsequent day of casting, the specimens were demolded. The specimens were then completely immersed in the water tank for curing. After 14 and 28 days, the specimens were taken out from the water tank. Tests were conducted 15 minutes later. It can be observed that conventional concrete specimen failed abruptly on reaching the ultimate load, while ECC remained almost intact with smaller crack propagation. For the slab specimen, four-point flexural test was conducted. The 0% PVA fiber specimen failed suddenly without taking much strain. As you can see, for the 2% PVA fiber specimen, strain has already reached as that of the maximum value achieved by the concrete specimen with no indication of failure. Strain is already 1% now. Now, some cracks have started showing up and the strain is 2.5%. Although the compressive strength decreases slightly with the increase in PVA fiber, but the maximum displacement in case of flexion test increases. It is quite evident from the graph that the plastic nature of the concrete goes on increasing as we increase the amount of PVA fiber added. The experiment was conducted successfully and following conclusions were made. 
you guys for watching our video. Hope you all enjoyed it.